the brightest minds in medicine are in Kansas City today for a special conference. It's interesting. The goal is to prepare new medical students for life as a doctor. But one of the topics they're going to talk about is food as medicine. Matt Stewart's live at that new Lowe's Hotel in downtown Kansas City with that. This sounds very interesting, Matt. Oh, it's, it's extremely interesting, and it's really the future of medicine, okay? So you think about osteopathic medicine. It's, it's basically the wellness of the person. You're, you're not just waiting for them and reacting to their symptoms, but you're trying to be proactive, and one of those ways is through food, healthy foods. You see behind me, we have a bunch of junk foods. This is what you don't want to eat. Pat, I know what you had for breakfast, Pop-Tarts. Can't hide from me. Joining me right now, I have Dr. Gautam. Desai. He is from the Kansas City University. And first of all, for those that don't know, what are processed foods? Well, processed foods are just taking any food in its natural state and then changing it a little bit. So take spinach, cut it up, add salt. That's processed. Oh. Some people process feelings, like Nick probably listened to tortured poets ten times last night and is processing his feelings this morning. He's been a little weepy this morning, so I think you're exactly right. I suspected that. We're, uh, transitioning back to food, how, how, what does processed foods do to the body as far as the health is concerned? Well, they contain often a lot of times sodium, fats, and sugar, and they can help increase your risk for getting diabetes, which can then affect your cognitive function. So in general, you may not get as much nutrition as you would from eating unprocessed foods. We have a picture we want to show people. So it's a plate, and it's divided in fourths. This is probably the goal when you're eating, right? It is the goal. It's, sometimes it's hard to achieve, but if you can take one quarter of the plate, try and put some fresh fruit on there, vegetables in another quarter, whole grains on one side, and then have protein be not the main star of the show, but being a little side player, maybe a quarter of that. Interesting. And then when you think about alternatives, you know, a lot of times you're hungry, you reach for some potato chips, but maybe popcorn would be better off. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I think the key is just being prepared to have snacks, like knowing I'm going to be hungry the next day when I'm making a salad at night, I'll cut up an apple or a carrot and just have that ready. Because when you're hungry, you don't want to wait around and try and, you know, peel a carrot and cut it up. Yeah, so you're thinking about healthy snacks, being proactive, and that's what osteopathic medicine is all about, is being proactive. You think about medicine in general, and you think, oh, well, don't the doctors want to see patients? But in osteopathic medicine, it's almost like you don't want to see the patients. Exactly. The best patients are the, the healthiest ones, and maybe you see them once in a while for a routine check. But if you can prevent illness, that's really the best thing you can do for someone. Are there certain types of foods that, like a, like a certain type of food, like a spinach or a broccoli, or if, you, if I said, give me three foods that people should have in their diets for sure, what are, what are they? Yeah, so green leafy vegetables are great, sweet potatoes are great, uh, broccoli, things like that. Anything that will fill you up, because if you eat healthy foods and just eat a small amount, you're still going to be hungry, but things that expand a little bit, that have fiber, will help you feel full longer. I love it. Okay, so potato chips, cocoa puffs, no. No, don't go. It's not green. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, Dr. Desai, thank you very much. My pleasure. Fascinating, guys. So that is what they're doing here at their, this national conference. 1,000 people are here at the Lowe's Hotel in downtown Kansas City for this conference. And um, we're here in the Stillwell, by the way. Uh, so they gave us the back room for all this. And gosh, Nick, Dr. Desai throwing him some shade. How about that? He was, yeah, I mean, he was throwing was Nick uh, under the bus tonight. there? Uh-oh. Yeah. He was. He was. Oh, about yeah. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Oh, new album. okay. Yeah. I know. Hey, so Matt, can you bring back... Matt, glad you were listening, Pat. I was... <laughs> I was transfixed yeah. by the box yeah. of Cocoa Puffs. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I will Matt, repeat exactly Friday. what Dr. Desai said. He said, like processed foods, Nick is processing his feelings after listening to Taylor Swift's new album all night long. That's what he said. It was funny at the time. You missed the joke. I'm sorry, Matt. It, Russ Pat. and Sean are in studio. It's a lot happening, okay? <laughs> and, if I might add, honestly, who are we to fight with the alchemy? Exactly. If you get that reference, you know about the new album. Here we go. All right. Matt, Good stuff, you. Matt. That went off the rails, but <sighs> it was late. fun. Yeah, we did. Thanks, Matt. <laughs>